Good morning. Nice to see you all here at this early hour. Especially nice to see all your tiny eyes and seeing that I'm not the only one with a terrible hangover. Um, before we start, I have a small announcement to make. The key signing party has been moved to tonight at uh, 9 p.m. in the Smoky in the Hack Lab. Um, yeah, that's for the announcement. Um, just a few questions. Who of you have ever read some kind of documentation? Who of you thought that the documentation sucks? Okay. Who of you have ever written some kind of documentation? Hey, looks interesting. So the next talk might be interesting for us all. If, oh, okay, second try for your name. Nukubi-san tries to tell us something about documentation in Debian. Stage is yours. Search engine, so I usually con uh, uh, I consider to develop uh, Debian documentation system uh, for a long time. Uh, usually, uh, uh, novice uh, user didn't know about uh, the existence of such data slash share such doc directory or whatever. So and some uh, online document documentation system have uh, their own search engine or something. So I consider that uh, integrate integrate such things would be uh, more <coughs> uh, makes more useful for Debian. So <coughs> I have some ideas, but uh, uh, it's only uh, from perspective of developers, so I want to hear you guys to um, how we need to develop uh, such documentation would be happy. So please, uh, please tell me any time if you if you think about uh, uh, this documentation. So at first, uh, this is my conclusion. I think we need to uh, we need more well documented policy in Debian. I think uh, there is some useful tool, but uh, it wouldn't be not so automatically so to to update index or <coughs> uh, searching. It would be uh, need to. Uh, decide such documentation policy. So uh, there is a background in this issue. Uh, there are some uh, documentation systems in Debian. First one is the help. The second one is the double double double. There is uh, the supports. Uh, Full text search <coughs> in the documentation. And there, there are uh, usually uh, focused for slash uh, data slash share slash doc, doc directory or map pages or GNU info. But uh, there are some other um, file formats in Debian. So, and uh, some documentations were written in another language instead of English. However, um, such systems consider about only English. So I need to... Uh, so I think I need, to ha uh, I need a framework to handle such uh, devices. So language is a uh, hard problem because 
uh, some languages are usually have only one encodings, but some um, but other but other things are not. So usually uh, in Japanese they have many at least four kinds of encodings. Uh, UTF-8 and ISO 2 JP and EGC JP and shift this. Uh, so in Japan, uh, such encodings are not uh, uh, so such encoding is uh, almost popular uh, um, uh, even. Uh, it's not uh, a kind of encoding is only uh, not so major. Mm. And then, uh, there is a good uh, system, uh, software, TextCat. It can <coughs> detect uh, encoding automatically, but uh, encoding at a language is not uh, only uh, same things. So usually UTF-8 can, <coughs> can write uh, uh, many languages in a documentation file. So encoding detection is not equal as uh, language detection. And uh, file format is also a <coughs> issue, um, some kind of issue, but uh, it's not uh, serious. There are many kinds of formats in there. Uh, Usually people use uh, plain text or man pages, but some uh, documentation were written in much pro format, like a uh, dog book or, some, uh, or something. And it will be uh, easy to detect automatically because there is file command. However, um, uh, to make index such a uh, different index uh, file format is uh, not so easy to achieve because uh, some such engines implementation uh, only supports uh, some kinds of formats. So we need to um, <coughs> so we need to merge such uh, differences in a framework and. Uh, there is many such changes in Debian. Uh, I already I talked about uh, Monday's BOF about these things. So <coughs> and usually uh we have a DWW supports Swish plus plus implementation of search engine. But this supports only single byte encoding. So usually it is useful on the English or some single word languages. So I need to uh, my such devices in a framework also. <coughs> so I const uh, I cost about uh, what I need for. So that is a good way in. Uh, to uh, define doc files, it is like a com file. Usually, com file is uh, mapped as some uh, some file as a configuration file. So, the package system can handle it, it as a configuration file. So, uh, when upgrading time, it will be handled as um, configuration, so if it could be much automatically it done and it couldn't be uh, the deep package system asked to user about some uh, questions. So DOFA is also uh, I consider about such uh, a similar framework for And I think I need um, Wrapper for such engines to merge uh, dif different uh, characteristics of many engines. So 
So, uh, then I considered about use cases for maintenance uh, to make uh, the issue to uh, easier. I need uh, some they have they help us create uh, like uh, doc index in I name it is uh, only uh, I named. So I, I talked about some auto detection framework. So some some files are some files could be uh, easy to max some. Uh, Properties for <coughs> properties of matically, and uh, for you, for user perspective, uh, I consider a Debian doc index package. It it could be it should be like a menu package. When user installs the package, uh, so. All documentation files are uh, handled automatically and uh, pro uh, so index are automatically generated and uh, it will be ready to search. I can see. So I need to write policy. Uh, before to <coughs> before prepare this both I let some I read some the uh, mini policies like menu or power or something so it will be like such format first about and second copyright and TFC and uh, main main subjects so at first I. <coughs> This is my consideration about doc file format. It needs to contain uh, file paths and format and languages and encodings. It will be enough to record these four things, I think. But so, someone, how, how about, uh, is there any uh, objection about some? Suggestion for me, what this is. Uh, Path is uh, very uh, requirement uh, things. A format would be because uh, some such engines only support a few kind of format. So <coughs> to make index, when uh, when making index, uh, System would need to detect uh, only <coughs> supported format for such engines, and also would be the uh, same as languages or encodings. Okay, so and if I can and define such things, so I. I have a plan to write uh, this uh, DH document doc index uh, script. I consider it to be a uh, <coughs> uh, try to add automatically to doc file. So <coughs> text cat could be determining uh, encoding so and get this and uh, file command would be Determining uh, formats. Ah, yes? What I missed in the file you showed just now is something like section information. Um, so you can put the file in some kind of menu structure for, uh, for accessing it. Uh, so uh, your question is. Uh, uh, so, you say, uh, so, uh, so, 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 so
missing there is some kind of information uh, that can put a document in some kind of menu structure. Menu structure? Yes. Like uh, uh, section <coughs> information. Uh, ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm not considered about it, but uh, it, mm, yeah, it is Mm. It will be different uh, issue, I think, because uh, for usually, um, one page would be, one page is usually separated as some sections. So it has already a well, um, well sectionized. But many uh, documentation files are not. So, Yes, I consider about this in this sorry. Uh, I think language is a good uh, a good information to split or sectionize. But uh, other thing would be hard. So I think usually search engines is very works very fast so it could be not so uh, important to sectionize such as a documentation file. So, if you, for users, uh, sectionized information would be hard to choice. So, not so, it shouldn't be required, I think. But uh, it's a useful one. Ah, yeah, that will, that will be good. So I think um, file format is also a good information to sectionize. I think. I, some documentations were uh, were written in some uh, other format like HTML or SGML or such uh, structured information. So. In that time, uh, some, uh, some search engine could handle such uh, structured information, so it is also useful for uh, such. But uh, I have no idea to sectionize other things. <laughs> what, what would be good? Uh, one page section is also good things. I think uh, one is a command, uh, is a command one. Uh, two is a uh, system command, something like that. But uh, document is very, document covers very, very wide range information, so it could be hard to determine such uh, good uh, sectionized keywords, I think. Okay, but mm, I okay, I I consider it. Yeah. So yeah, I so to implement and the helper script, I I checked a Paul uh, module named Debian con con the helper con con DH and the rate. It's uh, it provides some useful functions and uh, it could be just command line functions. So if I can, I, I could write a uh, best implementation in this time, but it could be. Uh, but I, I'll try to. And then, uh, 
active, active timing in and index is also an issue. Uh, so, so in this, um, in Max Lisp uh, packages are uh, runtime compilation. Uh, so it seems very similar for this uh, framework. So, um, or many system is also the same, I think. So it will be uh, a good, ref good reference for me. And then uh, there are some search engines in Debian, but uh, I'm not uh, familiar about all of them. <laughs> so <laughs> I can prefer some engines in some use case. So switch plus plus is usually good for mm, uh, Latin languages because it, it was always supported by the double 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 or the help. And Namazu is good for Japanese uh, because it supports good Japanese and uh, I am the author, I am a member of uh, authors of it. <laughs> the mono search is also good for Chinese Korean because it supports such languages. Oh, uh, Windows Shukai was already uploaded a uh, Hyper Estrella, a new, brand new search engine. It supports Engram based search engine, so it, it could be useful for any, any kind of languages. So it could be useful for generic, I think. And how I to, to do? Uh, at first, I need to develop a DH uh, in the <coughs> docking index. And then I need to write such a uh, Debian Poshi draft. And uh, such a this framework is also need to implement. And uh, what I need? Uh, the slide was all to be over, so <clears throat> I want to discuss such things in this POF. So, if you guys have any idea, please <laughs> put it away. <laughs> And you was, do you ha, do you think about um, other issue in documentation? Yes. Not the documentation in user shared bulk is GZ currently. That information might be useful to store in the index uh, for when you launch a viewer. Because uh, some viewers can auto detect it, like LV, but some, like less, do not. Uh, what what LV? LV is uh, multiple encoding it. viewer. It's like less, but it can convert between EUC and uh, UTF-H and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, encoding is an issue. A problem. Yes. This is not the character encoding, it's just the document compression, it's the transfer encoding in long terms. Talk to me. So, my, uh, my English skill is not for good for this course. <laughs> uh, so, uh, sorry. Uh, So your question is uh, how to how to convert as an encoding? Uh, essentially, yes. Because uh, typically, if you want to display a document nowadays, most people use X. Yeah. But sometimes you want to display it in a terminal, and then you have to construct some type of chain yeah. to do the conversion. Man does this internally. Yeah. 
Yes, I think so. So, web interface would be helpful because it could be a uh, it could be it could uh, tell to client a, a, a document encoding when um, uh, in its header. So and uh, usually uh, web client is rich for many language handlings. <laughs> uh, So I consider to make a uh, web interface is the most uh, preferred thing mm. Term Terminal uh, such client is also neat, but it <coughs> would be hard <laughs> because uh, the software couldn't uh, know uh, the terminal has what capability to display um, encoding some encoding or languages? That's very true. So um, I had uh, some uh, researchers considered to um, uh, extend such a much languages capability for terminal. So if it could be uh, implemented, it it helps. It helps us. Yes. <clears throat> I am searching for an engine to document in different languages at the same time. Yeah. So I'm not uh, uh, not satisfied with the normal way to translation. You always <laughs> has to have an English master and then you translate in the other languages. I want to have more eagle rights for every language. So I'm searching for a machine who is able to um, indexing every paragraph and has an, um, some system to inform other translators that this paragraph has changed and that there can be uh, something like a concurrence between different languages who is faster in documentation. And this we need in Scholy Linux, and this uh, because we are spreading all over the world, and the documentation is very, very behind. So if there is another community in another language who is faster in documentation than the English one, because uh, at the moment there is only uh, one uh, installation in the uh, United Kingdom, no installation in United States, about uh, 250 installation in Norway. Um, 50 installation in Germany and it's spreading in France now and there's no English documentation so we had to find a system to start the documentation in every language and to put it together at, at least this is a challenge yeah. um, I think uh, such uh, Latin language support is not so hard because uh, so uh, there is a uh, there have uh, sorry. Uh, in Monday I talked about uh, uh, <laughs> sorry I yeah yes uh, yes I talked about um, instead of search engines. So so, so usually in search engines were implemented by imported index method. It is uh, a table uh, to record what and uh, file or documentation ID. So such a uh, uh, such Latin languages usually uh, word would be separated by space or something, so yeah. it could be easy to find find what. But so 
So such a uh, multiple language support is not hard for, uh, for ordinary search engines. So it, actually, it's not so big problem. So the problem is uh, writing Asian languages usually because it couldn't uh, separate it in space or something. So. And uh, M gram based uh, search engine is also good for such purpose because it it didn't need to <coughs> separate such words because uh, it it has uh, it has divided such uh, all documentation as a <coughs> two two letter words. Or four things. So, <coughs> so such and uh, such changing like uh, hyperstraya is also good for such purpose. Mm. Uh, hyperstraya is. Uh, supports uh, n-gram based algorithm. So it is also, uh, it, it not so depends on such languages world handling. So then the rest issue will be an encoding problem. So, but, but uh, usually it is not hard to uh, it is not hard to write uh, English and as a one other language is to be stored in a same file usually because English is only written in uh, ASCII characters so usually English and some some other languages pair is uh, usually usable. So two or three or, or such more many languages support will be <coughs> hard, become harder. So so my talking will be be your answer. <laughs> how, um, so how, how to say? Um, for such um, it's it's not about searching. It's about how to begin, how to do the version control. If there is somebody starting in France mm -hmm. and somebody starting in Germany, how can we coordinate this? Uh -huh. How can we see it? And if there is somebody in Japan starting also, oh, it will be really difficult. <laughs> yeah. And then we need, but we need a machine who is able to show you this paragraph has changed in Japanese. The Japanese has found some things to, to be documented. Now the, French and uh, German guys, they have, should also change uh, the documentation. Uh -huh. This is what I'm thinking about, how we can coordinate this without an English master. There's no English master. There's no, it's not a problem of search engine. Perhaps in the longer run, it's a problem of search engine if you have a big document. But how to construct it, how, how to begin without a master, this is, uh, this is my question. How do you suppose uh, the French translator is going to translate a uh, paragraph that has been added by a Japanese uh, writer if he doesn't speak Japanese? That's, that's the reason why we have English, because most 
almost all translators uh, speak English. Um, you need a common language that is spoken by the translators yeah, to be able to translate. <coughs> Why do you think only in English? There's so, such a, a lot of people who is understanding Norwegian and German nothing more. Yes. Okay. I will use this power. Yes. It, so in it is, it's not used now. It's no. just used only the English and then to the other. Yes, but you can arrange that within the community. You can define any language as your master. Only if you want to spread it around the world, somebody has to take the responsibility to translate it into English. Yes, so so the responsibility I, is always the, the challenge. Yes, <laughs> you're right. But I think you have to think about it like you go, uh, like maybe you have a tree of, of, of languages and you have English at the top. Yes? And then you have maybe like uh, German and uh, Norwegian on, on one side in the tree. And you have Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, Spanish on other sides in the tree. And, this are and what you could do yeah. is you could say, okay, most development, most writing is done in uh, German and Norwegian. So we coordinate very heavily there. Then we make sure that Norwegian and uh, German are translated to English. That's it. And that is then the master for the rest. Yeah, that, but that is the whole system. Mm -hmm. you can and I'm searching for for a new system. I I'm searching for another system than this old. This old system has historical uh, reasons. Yes. It's it's uh, well. It's because of the imperialism of the uh, uh, development of the world. It's coming. It's going mm, out from the English. That's not true. No, that's not true. Because I think more there there was more imperialism from. France and Spain and so on, they have far more colonies, so... Okay, this is another, another, <laughs> That's uh, another, subject, another but topic. But I, I'm really looking for an equal rights system for every language to be exchanged with, within different languages without a master. And this is, well, it's just a challenge. It's a challenge from today because I see this need. Yes, may, may, maybe uh, that we have to use the old system um, 10 years more, perhaps. But I'm searching for another system. This is the challenge. That's what I'm looking here for. But it, it won't work unless some people speak a common language. And the uh, most common language is English. It's a fact of life. Yeah, but, uh, but you, you, you say it won't work. I'm looking for something that will work. That's the challenge. It's not uh, to say it won't work, give it up. No, I will try to find. And I give you the idea of how I think to start. I have, uh, I, uh, there's a, a, a fast growing uh, French community. And we thought about um, how we could do the, uh, the documentation. The idea is now that we find 10 responsible persons in Germany and in France who are able to understand the language, the other language, and they subscribe um, a wiki page. So we use two wikis, a French wiki and a German wiki. And uh, the other language always has subscribed um, the important pages from the other la language. Then we start conquering who is faster in documentation or installation problems and something. And if there's something changing in this page, he will get an uh, email with a diff, and then he can look up if it's the same, uh, if it's missing in our page or not, and then we, that's what, how I start to try it. And the, because um, the way, the traditional way uh, for Buddy uh, in school of Linux, then there was some, nobody wants to write a documentation, you know. Then, okay, we had to have documentation. So there was a, a person who said, oh, my English is so bad, I will not do the documentation in English, I write it in Norwegian. That's then right. we had to find some, someone who translated. It was difficult to find someone. Then there was some, somebody paid for to do it. Okay, he has done. And uh, he has checked the English uh, for grammatic and typos and such things. Then we had... After one and a half year, we had an English documentation. This documentation was in dog book, so 
it was easy to, to take it and to translate it. And we need only two months to translate it completely with eight persons. It's a document uh, with, with about 180 pages. It's a, it's a big document. And we finally released this document one week before such was released. So this is not the way to do it. It's not the way. It's not it's really not the way. We had to find other ways because the English at the moment in Skolenino specific there's too too little number of English Skolenino installations. So there's no interest and um, well this was the reason. And I will start it with the weekend. If there's no machine I will find somebody. Uh, we will have it in five years, I am sure. And uh, to challenge this with Japanese, wow! <laughs> That's a, yeah, to, to yeah. get it to Japanese would be really nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, cooking is very interesting. Uh, I, I have also an interest about such monitoring uh, eyes document, uh, uh, handling such monitoring eyes document. Uh, so yes, uh, the most uh, biggest uh, project to be uh, Wikipedia, I think. Yeah. But it seems very not so related to these other languages usually. So you 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 talked about uh, you you use uh, two wikis for yeah. different languages. Yeah. It is a just it is a way to solve the problem, but so I usually consider about uh, uh, I want to a uh, wiki implementation such uh, much much realization supported wiki right like a uh, wiki page with uh, lang language property so, such system would be nice for. Us, I think. So. Uh. <coughs> we have built a parser who to takes the wiki pages to Docbook, and we have uh -huh. we are we have constructed also um, a um, parser who who um, uh, translates the Docbook files into wiki. Uh -huh. So we we just started to to have it really easy because the wiki has um, has a low entry barrier. You have not to know, uh, not to have much knowledge to join the group to help. But if you want to learn uh, Pro Edit and Stockbook, and so you have to learn all this and HTML to do the documentation, you will never do it. And no normally developers are not interested in documentation. <coughs> it's, it's a law. It's a law yeah. of computer or something. Yes. Ah, it's very interesting. Uh, in the other page, it it should be the English page will be a must ma as a master. Yes, yeah, al always. Uh, yeah. But if the master is, is not uh, at home, what are you doing? <laughs> if there is no master. Yes, I usually try to write English first, but it's very hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For me too. <laughs> yes. To me, this sounds uh, exactly like the transition at a distributed version control. Yeah. So, essentially, what you need is a structured editor or something like yeah. a conglomerate that's that supports yeah. that's a, that's a version control yeah. and can show you that's which task, yeah. paragraphs have been changed. In other I languages. saw some system here, CISO. I, I don't know if you know it about CISU, S E S E S I S U, CISU. It, it is able to uh, build an index about every paragraph, and then ha he, it build it a hash about every paragraph. So if, if a little paragraph is changed, you will get a message. It's used from a, from a, um, from a lawyer for big uh, juridical documents. I can bring you to the to the guy who is uh, who is developing this. He has uploaded it to Debian yesterday. Also, I 
I thought uh, he was my neighbor, and I, I, I saw it. Hey, what you are doing? Let's start a search for. So uh, perhaps it's able to use this system. But uh, maybe this system will not be so useful for documentation because uh, you will receive a message uh, every time uh, when some tr translator fix a typo in paragraph. So. <laughs> Let you test it. Let's Let you see it. Well, I, I have some, there's a German wiki about school in Linux. The, uh, uh, these are uh, 1,400 and something pages. And I have subscribed all pages. And you say, oh, you get, you, you get a mail, such a huge of mail. No, it isn't. No, it's, it isn't. It is possible to subscribe and uh, there's not so much change that you will be overloaded. It's, it's working. But it would still be useful in such a documentation system to have uh, tags so you can see the same changes that have been made yeah. in different yeah. languages. Yeah. The, the big challenge is to have a structure. Um, and how to handle a structure. If there's a new point, what should it be? So, so that every uh, that another person could find it. Sorry to interrupt you. Um, as far as I know, this room will be empty after that. Yes. Could they yeah. continue the discussion? It seems to be at a little point. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so, sorry for interrupting. Just want to thank Nakugi-san <laughs> for this interesting talk. And uh, sorry, but I need to go away. Continue your discussion if you like. Somebody who speaks English, <laughs> who has a school in the neighborhood, and who wants to install and test school in Linux, I would like it. Then he will make the question in English, and then he can for he can go for. What about schools in your countries? They all using free software, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot of money also, yeah, for, they have the newest computer and a lot of money, or how is it in the country? No, Italian, Italian schools are not that rich. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You are directly rich. connected to Berlusconi. <laughs> <laughs> but he is sucking money, he is not giving away. Yeah. So, they, they have not that much money. Anyway, there are spare cases where uh, system administrators take their way to Linux yeah. and they, they usually I, I've heard somebody who is talks there but ne never heard about school Linux. Yeah. That's the reason why I'm here, that you hear about school <laughs> Linux. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's important point to have the skills. If you don't go with free software in schools you can forget it. Yeah, it will last uh, thirty years more or what? Yeah. In your country where are you come from? Sure. Don't tell me, oh, I know the situation, don't <laughs> tell me. <laughs> the teachers are not able to even to work with Windows, and they are surely not able to work with Linux. I tried it once in a school, and they were not able to reboot the server if they had a problem. So, they had to do nothing on it. It was just running. Okay. So I'm from Germany too. From Germany too, okay. <laughs> Where are the English people? No, oh, yes. <laughs> you're from the United States. No, I am oh, <laughs> no. Where is from the United States? I thought the most developers from uh, from Debian are from the United States, isn't it? They yeah, are always. <laughs> they're sleeping, huh? Perhaps they are sleeping. <laughs> they're the time they retire. You are coming from? Sweden. From Sweden. Yeah. And you from? Sweden. Sweden too? You? From? Ukraine. Ukraine, okay, from Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, I need to translate, and the Swedish translation is not ready and for two pages only. Our flyer for Square Linux and Italian, and Rico said, Yeah, I will do it, I will do it. And he saw the wife, <laughs> and then was lost. <laughs> so perhaps uh, if you can do it today, I can take it with me. I would be really happy. Um, would be nice.
I, if, you, if you give me your email, I'll send you the source code in OpenOffice. It's a fast translated. Yeah. You send me back. I put it in the web. And an Ukrainian uh, translation would be very nice. <laughs> Enough? I you don't like, like translate. You don't like translate. <laughs> what we are doing now? Your yeah. talk was senseless because you don't like translation. What, you are doing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? Uh, program name. Consider uh, one of my packages and uh, the, the, the concept template translated in Italy.